Alright, Xavier, and welcome to the peaceful, happy burning town. We should put out that fire, I do reckon. Let's get that fire taken. Ooh, we're actually putting roofs up over here, which is kind of interesting to see. Paldos is just taking a nap in his helmet in the field of dandelions. <laughs> Doesn't care not about nothing. Oh, boy. Once we get this fire taken... I'm actually kind of a little bit worried, you know, about this... Uh, Last time we had these crazy fires, let's expand the home zone and actually put... It's going to take a lot of time to run around there and deal with all that. But at the same time, I don't want to have a repeat of before where we had half the base burned down. That just wasn't a really cool thing, to be honest. And now, of course, everyone's running away from this one fire. Maybe Paul Dose can take care of it. Maybe he won't. I don't know. Maybe all of this thing will just grow a thousand times. Oh, it's getting bigger. Come on, guys. You got this. Just one by one. Beautiful. That's one taken care of a little bit more. This is getting out of control now. This one was taken care of. Awesome. Okay, that didn't take too much effort. All right. Minimize our tree loss because we might need a lot of wood this winter. Assuming we don't have toxic fallout. I forgot to shut toxic fallout in the options. Or shut it off in the options. It's one thing I probably should have done, to be honest. Because no one no one likes Toxic Fall. And for good reason, too. It's just straight up not fun. It's like everything turns green and nothing. You can't do anything and everything dies. And it's just you sit there and it takes forever. <laughs> it's like the worst to break. But at the same time, I kind of like to leave it on. Because suffering through the worst of times means you can then enjoy the best of times. Speaking of, I'm running away from a squirrel. Is this a joke? Why? I just, I started hunting a squirrel and I'm like, nah, time for a nap, I guess. That seems, seems legit. So anyway, in this episode, here's the goals. We need to harvest up a bunch of iron and whatnot. You know what we need to do is also probably put something in here to make steel. Because we're very soon to run out there. We got a couple more shields incoming in just a minute. I should have myself come up and equip this one, even though I'm taking a nap. Maybe in the morning. Ooh, we just finished that second one. Paul Dose? Who's this? This is, uh, this is Alan. Paul Dose, where are you? Digging at limestone. Come up here and get your good shield, Paul Dose. I'm the hunter, so I'm gonna take the exceptional one. Oh, the excellent one myself. Uh, we're down to 20 steel. We definitely can't make more shields than that, I don't think. We're making two of the dwarf shields noble. We've only got the one there. I'm gonna make sure our moods are as high as we can get them. I'm pretty sure our unsightly environment is the number one issue right now. But really, Alan just has too many things to get to. By the way, Cone is down to 13.7 resistance. That's super nice to see. So give me a shield. That shield will probably, maybe, maybe it will help a little bit. Not sure if it will probably help. It just maybe will help. Hunting the Squirtle. No, let's come in here. Let's clean this room. Now, every time I hit clean room, it doesn't actually clean the room. It cleans like three things and stops. This time it actually cleaned the room. Hmm, not bad. Now, before I go attack that squirrel, have me come up here and equip that shield. Awesome. Her Did Paul Dose drop his shield? No, he's got his shield. He's got his shield. That means we made a third one, then. For whoever wants. Tremaine, you want one? Go equip your shield. Good. Nice. We got three shields. We need one more. Unfortunately, we just don't have the materials for that. It's 40 ingredients, which is going to be like iron or steel and then 20 wood. We're making these things out of iron, I believe, now. Let's make steel from iron. Let's actually drag that to the top. Whatever mod, I think it's better work by bench management. It allows you to just drag those rather than click up and down repeatedly. Uh, let's do this until X. We want to have at all times... You know what? Let's just do it this way. Let's make like 500 steel. It's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take a long time to convert all that iron to steel. I don't even have any iron right now. In fact, we were using that iron all over the place to do other stuff. So we're a little bit backlogged on getting our last suit of armor. Ooh, we got a dwarven doors. Check that out. That is cool. Whoa, squirrel revenge. Will I succeed? It's already dead. But these dwarven doors are super sweet. When we get these walls all smoothed. That's going to look nice. Tremaine, what do you... You actually got enough ingredients here to apparently make an Iron Dwarf Shield. You know what? Iron Dwarf Shield's better than nothing. Let's go for it. Another thing that's very clear that I'm going to need is some tables down here for all of our brewing stuff. I'm not sure where exactly I would put that. I don't think there's anything I can put stuff on except for the benches. So we're probably going to have to use wooden storage pallets. And we can just have like a whole bunch of them here. Uh, something like this, this, that, that, or something like that. 
once we get around to doing that. It's a bunch more work, of course, but... All right, Paul Dos is butchering the squirrel. At present, we've got actually literally zero meals. Once again, we've run out of meals. All right, let's come down here to grab all these berries, harvest those things. Ooh. Ooh, Paul Dos. Paul Dos, I challenge you to the hunt. Seven animals. There's not going to be any tie this time. Let's get me down here on Aloysius. Amount of Paul Dos down here on Titan. Amount. We're going to have a little bit of a fun time, shall we? The both of us on alert. Zoomy, zoomy. Seven animals. Who gets the most kills? Let's find out. Let's find out. On your mark, get set, and meta! Who knows who got that first one? I certainly couldn't see. Titan's just a too fast. Titan's too fast for me. It's not fair. You get a war boy. Give me the war bear. I'll show you what's going on. You know what? I don't even care. I'm actually going to win this regardless because yoink. Yeah, that's right. You were looking the wrong way. And who got all the stabbies that time, huh? Boom. Boom. Come on, me. I don't know who that was. We'll find out in a second here. Okay, one more down there. God, this is actually really fun for whatever reason. Manual hunting challenges. Especially with me and Paul Dose in the open. All right, let's see who the victor is. To the victor... Well, first of all, let's check our wounds. Nothing on Aloysius. Nothing on Titan. I've got nothing. Paul Dose... Ooh, he got three bruises, you dope. Learn to fight. Who killed this guy? I killed the Ibex. That's one. Who killed the Alpaca? Paul Dose. One to one. I killed the Ibex, two to one. Alpaca's me, three to one. Baldos, no, three to two. And these ones over here, yes, four to two, take that, Baldos. Five to two, dominated is what I think that is right there. Absolutely dominated. Let's uh, hunt these guys, that just means we're gonna finish them off. Well, in the great hunting competitions, uh, in the Dordovan town of... What is this town called? How do I even find out what this town is called? Like, isn't this something I should know? Classic? Cassandra Classic Merciless. All right. Um, oh, maybe I go to the world map? Hey, I haven't looked at the world map in a long... I don't think we've got any quests or anything like that. Oh, here we go. Definitely Niebuhr been here before. That's our colony. Oh, no, the faction. Sherwood of the Faest Elves suck. Well, in the great town of Never Been Here Before, apparently, or whatever the heck it is, or definitely Never Been Here Before, uh, in the year of 5500 on the 13th of Jugist, there was a competition, and it looks like I just crushed it. By the way, look at this. We got meat, we got pork and stuff over here, we got random things coming. It's so much work to do. It's insane, though. So much work. But we just hunted all of that with zero wounds, which is really nice. Yeah, we just killed up those. This is also, we're not going to have to run all the way across the map. I'm checking for uh, war bears, like, constantly. There doesn't seem to be any such thing here. Nice! We got our mead barrels now as well. We're getting some of our basic stuff being built here. All right, let's add this. We want to do mead war. Do until X. We want the X, I believe, to be 5. We, want to, we do want to take it to the stockpile, and the stockpiles are going to be, like, right around here, for the most part. Or you know what? I kind of want another one of these things. We'll build a copy of it, like, right there. Alright, Alan, what is up, friend? What is up? You're talking to Kona. You, Alan has a nice down to 12 points. We Alan has so many interrupt tasks to do coming down here milking a cow Right luckily Alan has a, a Titan Alan just moved a whole bunch of stuff over here and is now Additionally hauling wood up to this stockpile now Alan's hauling back the wood down here to get these things or Just put them together so other people can actually build the work to build them now He's having a meal now. He's hauling the Ibex over there. By the way, this storage was supposed to be for clear all uh, mead. How the hell if I know where to find that, though? Can I just search for mead? Dwarven mead, fermenting barrel, mead wart. That's what we want there, and that's it. These guys here were supposed to be for the plants. Uh, I don't know what it's called exactly. It's right here. Honey root. 
All right, there's our honey roots. We want to clear all honey root on. Do we actually do it right over here? Because I'm f feeling like we didn't. Yeah, looks like we actually did. All right, so both of those things are set up properly. Need to haul all those corpses out of the way. And that'll be just fine and dandy. We can grab this one up here. Or we can copy those settings, grab this here, and paste those in. And that'll get all put together fine and dandy very soon. Finally, we've got the cloth for days down here. Although, I don't know if it's going to be enough for the, the Dwarven board game, which requires like 80. As far as I know, that Dwarven board game, by the way, Recreation, I think you can't... Oh, iron... You can make it out of iron instead of wood. What about steel? It's still going to require 80 cloth, no matter what you do. So what about silver? Or silver? Ooh. These are all really cool. Regardless, we can't make any of them because we need 80 cloth. And we're not even close to that threshold. I do like how things get hauled, like, constantly. This is apparently almost indoors now, which is nice. It says outdoors for the moment. But all we got to do is put that one door in there and then maybe put some roofs in here. Verbal abuse on Alan. Oh, no. He ate raw food. I forgot about the food. I wasn't paying attention. We actually have a few meals there. Oh, poor Alan. Recreation deprived as well. I think if I hover over recreation. Social, solitary relaxation, 31% bored. Social interaction, 36% bored. Did I... Did our, oh no, Alan, what are you doing? Don't do it, no! No, Alan! Oh, thumbs down on Jermaine's relationship status. He's like, Jermaine, you can't find a female dwarf. Alan laughed at Baldos's diet. He's calling you thin, Baldos. Gotta get some meat on them there, bones. Alan, what are you up to now? Why do you have to do all these things to us at our time of need? He's just fe literally fuming. Wow, he took off on a race there. He's got his eyes set. He's got his eyes set in Tremaine. He wants to insult Tremaine's mother, or arm, or weight, or or lack of girlfriend. I'm not even sure. What are we going to see here? Alan? Boom! Alan called Tremaine's father a robber. Now that is a serious insult for the 5500s, friends. You don't insult, you don't insult a dwarf's father, I don't think. That is not going to go over well with Tremaine. Jermaine actually, am I not understanding this exactly right? Jermaine's opinion of Alan. There we go. Insulted. Negative 16. God, they were almost friends until Alan went in this little mental break here. Somehow Alan actually is friends with me and friends with Jermaine and friends with Paul Dose, although Jermaine hates Alan in return. But alas, what are you going to do? Uh-oh, uh-oh, watch out! Watch out, me! I'm just like, yo, what's up, Alan? How's it going? He's like, just, just chilling. So, oh no! Alan made a contemptuous remark about my cooking skill. Well, I ain't no cook. What are you talking That's Paul Dose's forte. I, I pick the things that go into the cooking pots. Like, don't you know nothing, Alan? Xavier remarked on strangers with Alan is apparently what I'm going to have to... Oh, God, he's coming back in. No, we were friends. We were friends. Well, those, the dwarven brewmaster is fully healed. Alan's not going to relent here. This is just going to go on. It's going to... Oh, oh, there we... Oh, wait, that's a failed training chance. Now he's coming out. He offered a backhand compliment about my forehead. How did he know my forehead's like four inches big? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, God, now he belittled my class, and now he's insulting my punctuality. It's like, you need to show up on time and cook, and cook it with style. Apparently, that's what Alan's on about here. Maybe he's just really mad that he's... I guess it does make sense. He did go on a mental break from eating raw food, right? Again! Insulted my animal taming. Alan, you better watch what you're doing here, friend. Insulting my animal taming. Okay, insulting my cooking skill is one thing. But my animal taming ability, that is unlikely to hold over here. My opinion of Alan has fallen. Unbelievably. It used to be like plus 40, now it's a negative 8. Hate this guy. Now he's coming in, he's, he doesn't like a oh, Baldos. Alan disrespected Baldos' nephew's honesty. Meanwhile, Baldos had a brief chat with Alan about pressure. <laughs> Paul Dose is like, there's too much pressure. <laughs> you can't be telling the truth all the time when you're dwarves. Paul Dose, look at what, I can't even keep up with all the nonsense. Good God. 
Paul does it a brief chat. Alan compared Xavier's aunt to a tapir, whatever the heck that is. I think it's like a little rat or something, like a mouse. Uh, Xavier exchanged pleasantries. Alan spoke negatively of my muscles. How does he know I have a big forehead and no muscles? For God's sakes, what is this metagaming nonsense? Paul does exchanged pleasantries with Alan. And I greeted Alan. I'm trying my best here. Everyone's trying their best. Alan subtly scorned at my hair now. I mean, you can't even see my hair because it's such a big forehead. Good God, look at what everyone else's opinion of Alan has gone to. Negative 26, negative 12. Ne this is the most effectively brutal um, verbal insulting break I've ever seen in, in RimWorld, I think. It is really ridiculous to have friends with everyone and then literally hate the entire colony. Wow. And I thought we were... Oh, there we go. Here it comes again. Boom. Ex Alan called Xavier a monster. Well, that's probably the worst. Not the worst thing he could have said, to be honest. He really needs to chill out, though. I mean, we've gone from plus 44 to negative 38 in like five minutes. How I have not started a fight with him yet, I'll, I just don't know. I'm going to worry about uh, everyone's moods. They're all like yellow. So in a minute here, just as soon as I can stop watching Alan go crazy. Oh, God. Run me. Run. Run. Oh, I got to get that last plant in. I'm like, hey, Alan. He's like, ah, oh, another backhand compliment on my animal taming ability. Good Lord. He's just hitting it right where it hurts. Although, technically speaking, I think he's completely wrong. By the way, we get eight of those things over there. Ooh. Look at this, friends. We got all this stuff. That's super nice. Emmeline has given birth. Alan is still on a mental break. He compared Tremaine to a woodpecker. <laughs> Take that, Tremaine. You little woodpecker. Also, he offered a backhanded compliment about Tremaine's ears. <laughs> Apparently, Tremaine looks like a woodpecker with his little tiny ears. Wow. All right, Alan, please say you're done now. This has been the most ridiculous mental break I've ever... Nope, he just did another thumbs down. He spoke badly of my nephew's sexual experience. What? Alan, this is, this is uncalled for, friends. You don't talk about these things. Alan, chill, chill out. Stop. He's, he's on the hunt. He's coming back in again. Bam! On, on who even was that? Tremaine? Alan spoke... Uh, Alan laughed at Tremaine's personal hygiene as he drives by in a wearing or wearing a giant helmet riding a war boar. This is ridiculous. Negative 43, negative 35, negative 16. Okay, Alan, stop it. Now he's chasing me again as fast as he can. He's got something to say and he's going to say it. I'm like, hey, Tremaine, what's up? Watch out. Alan's out the door. Tremaine's like, boom. Alan's like, hey, I implied negative things about your fashion knowledge. <laughs> As a dwarf, do we really... Okay, I am getting seriously... My character's getting really not happy right now. And my actual person in real life is getting frustrated with having to watch this. I only compared my nephew to a mugger. Okay, Alan, Siri, do I need to knock you out right now? Negative 56. You are now literally enemies with everyone in the colony from this one single mental break. We even had food at the time. Nope, now he's going to have to pull dose. I cannot believe this. We got food for days, Alan. Eat the food. Eat the food. Eat the food. Nope. Alan hurled invective about Paul Dose's intellectual skills. I mean, Paul Dose is a melee. You know, you know, you don't need many smarts to go melee and alpacas in the skull. To be honest. So I'm not sure that's a big of a big of an insult. Maybe Alan thinks it's a big insult. Because he thinks he's all high and mighty here with his intelligent brains. But in reality, I'm not sure many of the things he's complaining about are all that important. By the way, have I even, like, played the game at all? Starvation on Alan, of course. You need to fall... Alan, fall down from starvation, please. Nope. Here he goes again. He's coming after me for the 400th time. Bam! He insulted my ears. You know what? You already insulted Tremaine's ears, Alan. I just don't care anymore. I know you're going to say I look like a woodpecker if I give you five more minutes here. I commented pithily on personal boundaries with Alan's. I'm like, listen, Alan, that's it. You can only talk about the ears when it comes to Tremaine, but when it comes to me, by the way, here he comes. I hope I get in a social fight. Just beat him up, me. Beat him up. 
Alan subtly scorned my stylishness. Alan belittled my jawline. Negative s What? This is insane. This is an over 100... Alan has stopped verbally abusing people. I have never seen anyone go from... Like, basically, it was the same both ways, I think, at the start. It was like 40, 20, 17. And now it's negative 68, negative 35, negative 31. I am now the rival of Alan. I liked everybody in the town until that. Paul Dose is also the rival. Tremaine is also a rival. Alan is literally despised by everyone in town now. Whew. That was ridiculous. That was seriously ridiculous. Recreation deprived. You know what? That's one thing we can fix. Awful barrack? Not really. I uh, could clean it a little bit. We're actually trying to move out of that. Soaking wet, you stop walking outside. Able out a table? We do need to move the table and all that, but we're getting on it. The alpacas here are, are spoiling in one day. We got a little bit of time on that. Uh, so, let's worry about this game of Ur, right? Or We have 191 cloth. That is great. What do we want to make this out of? We could make it out of steel. We got 80 steel, 30 wood, and 80 cloth. We can put this down here in what is soon to be our dining room right there. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's unfortunately not symmetrical. Uh, but what are you gonna? What am I gonna do about it? Honestly, pretty much nothing. We're gonna need a really cool iron chandelier in there, I suppose. It's not gonna be exactly where I want it, but right there will suffice. We can move our tables down there and our meals down there, uh, probably pretty close to now. You know what? Let's reinstall the, the table. Oh, and once we get this built, we can reinstall the table under it. I suppose for now we can put the table down there. Reinstall this guy over there, even though it's sideways. Beautiful. And then lastly, we gotta come over here, grab this, copy the settings for that stockpile, delete that zone, zoom over here, to zone, stockpile. We'll make a couple of things right there, similar, and a pace. Okay, so we've completely moved the eating experience out of here. This is just basically a barracks, and that's it. Absolutely it. Kona is, meanwhile, down to 12.7% recruitment, which is fine. We got a major break risk on me and Alan. We are going to have insulted times six for 1.4 days. That means I'm probably going to go on a mental break and insult everybody, and then they're going to go on a mental break. Recreation unfulfilled. We need more variation in recreation. We're working on that right now. Unsightly environment, eight without a table. We're getting all that sort of set up, kind of. Plus, it's probably going to be a little bit better when it's closer to down here, although no one eats on the table unless we have one up here as well. I probably need, like, little dining tables or little, like, breakfast nooks here and there is my guess. Another thing I'm going to need to do very soon is worry about the winter because the July is almost over here. I'm really hoping we get everything cleaned up, get all this basic stuff taken care of. Paul Dose is working on the butchering, of course. Beautiful. He had to say hello to me, which is all right. Alan, what are you up to? You're gonna, you know what? Just very quickly here, uh, as a temporary thing on Alan, let's do a cleaning on a two. Because the, the whole base is out of control. Alan, what are you doing? Hauling Raven Weaver dead to storage... No, you're not. To storage pallet. What storage pallet do you think you're bringing a dead weaver to? Like, this is not what you're doing. These are both wood. This one down here was supposed to be just for manufacture. There's no corpses there. Ah, that's the problem. We only did this one here. We didn't copy the settings. I see. Let's select the similar. Beautiful. Let's paste the settings. Okay, great. Now, Alan, alert, unalert. Now you're hauling an alpaca. Okay, good. You're, you're actually hauling the alpaca up to the, the real... Yeah, beautiful. Empty. Now you're cleaning it. Long. That took a long time. But we're finally working on cleaning this area up. We got a meteorite up over here. Beautiful. More silver. We'll take it. Oh, what's this down here? Oh! We finally... I didn't even know what this stuff looked like. By the way, I ain't want no raccoons eating my food. Die, raccoon. Well, that happened. Okay. Look at this beautiful heel root, friends. Never gotten it before. It looks like we got quite a bit of it. 161 of it, to be honest. 
We're gonna have to find some places to put all that. Uh, I would like to use more of these shelves, but for now, let's just do a little stockpile zone, like right here uh, and right there. Awesome. We're gonna clear this all, put that a little bit higher. Uh, this is gonna be vegetables. Beautiful. I'm throwing a tantrum now. Last straw was being insulted. No surprises there. Now I'm gonna go kill the, the Ibex dough. I literally destroyed it. There goes a whole bunch. Now I destroyed that thing as well. Now I'm destroying the door. Wonderful. Tremaine's trying to repair up after me a little bit, but he's not doing all that great of a job. Alan's cleaning up at least, which is nice to see. Where did I go? Oh, I just destroyed 10 meals in fuming anger. Wonderful. Oh no, now I just destroyed my little mead wart thing. No, this is so frustrating. This is all your fault, Alan. Wow, now I just destroyed 10 more meals. What? Okay, that's like, that was crazy. To destroy 20 meals worth of food? Uh, holy bananas. Well, I'll teach you guys to insult me 300 times. We need this stuff hauled, like, yesterday. Holdos is hauling individual- you know why he's hauling individual ones? Because I set this up super stupid. Uh, we need to do the ingredient radius, like, really small there, so it's just in the, the local area. And the same deal over here as well. Something like that. Awesome. That way we don't do like a million things all over the place. Much better. He was he was hauling individual things back and forth, which is a complete waste of time. We're going to have to wall this off so it's not bloody in this room all the time. But look at this. This is actually coming together. Oh, wait a minute. Where did we just bring that war? You know where we didn't bring it is down there. I can tell you that much. Uh, let's search over here for warts. Uh, let's shut off all the warts. Beautiful. And then we'll delete that, and that's actually pretty cool. Gotta admit, that's pretty cool. 222 wood. You know what that means. We're gonna be short on that anytime now. Whoa! What the- What is with these meteorites? Good lord. That one's components, apparently. For whatever reason. Apparently, I never finished sewing this down here, so I'm chopping that guy up. I do feel like there's a lot of sewing to do. Yeah, we got all this heal root down here. We got 61 herbal meds. Last campaign at this point, we had zero. These guys are eating their dandelions. They're eating them back, that's for sure. Haldos is literally brewing dwarven mead. This is awesome to see. You know what we need to see, though, is actually, uh, first of all, let's get that cleaning back to a four like it should be. Secondly, we were supposed to get, at some point, Construct this back down to a four good. Now we're actually where we should be by default. But what are we lacking now? We have some meals, a little bit, not... We actually, you know, we're going to be fine on that. We just need to get some hauling done. Tremaine's working on it. We got to get this all cleared out. It's actually coming together. It almost looks like a clean little organized place. Fall has begun. This worries me greatly. This worries me very greatly. This place we can um, seal up. I don't want to make a huge... Well, I love these doors. These dwarven gates. They're super cool. But they're a little bit expensive. So maybe I'll just make like a small iron door. Maybe I'll just make a wooden door. Honestly, for now. Wooden door. Okay, that's not... Okay, wall, wall. We'll put that door right there. Awesome. Cancel that door. Great. Build a copy of... This is like water. So... Uh, put that there, I suppose. We could build a copy, like, there. This will work out for us. Now, we're going to need some kind of long-term heating solution down here. No, we need is blocks. I don't think anyone's cut a block in forever. We got 28 down there. So we can put up fireplaces, but we also need wood. We're not ready for the winter. Oh, God. Right-click, chop only fully grown. That's actually a fair bit of trees right there. Same, oh, nice, lots of trees. Now that's a thousand jobs as well, so kind of a problem. So our number one miner, I think, was going to be Tremaine when he's not doing crafting. He should be out of crafting to do, other than the fact that he's going to be constantly running over there doing the steel and whatnot. Tremaine on an eight, Paul Dos is an eight. Paul Dos used to be doing it, but he's got to do a lot of cooking all the time lately, especially with all this dwarven mead and whatnot. We need some fireplaces. To get fireplaces, we need bricks. 
And we're just now getting our salted pots. Apparently, we made them all out of iron. Here's our chandelier. Tremaine's working on that. Wonderful. Okay, we're getting things done. It's just not as much as I would like and as fast as I would like it. That's all. Nice! There's a chandelier! It's coming together! There's our wood things getting put back in as well. Let's copy those settings and zoom down here. Does it does it import? No, it doesn't. Paste the settings. Beautiful. This one down here it was storage mead. Uh, clear all and mead wart. That's it. I like to see this a lot. These things over here, we want to clear all. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's that's it says meat. I see. So we want to clear all from this, and this is supposed to be literally just meat. We can copy those settings, and then when these get built in just a few seconds. Yo, listen to the sound of that mining. You know what though? Paul Dose is, is actually mining not what I want. Let's come up here and mine the ore for a brief minute. Let's grab all these guys and paste them in. There we go. That's the iron we need. And now Tremaine is, of course, going to go up there and make steel, like, constantly. We really needed this for a lot of different things. We need so much iron. It's actually pretty insane. I wish I could pause these things without deleting my profile there, but you can't for whatever reason. All right, looks like Paul Dose took a break. Now he's coming right on back to it. Hey, you know what? He doesn't seem to mind doing it nonstop. Although, quite frankly, he's got no recreation. Paul Dose, get off your record. Who did we make our board game yet? No. Oh, good lord. Who can make this? Who's the? We're actually behind on a lot of stuff, and now I'm getting worried. We were doing so well, Tremaine. You got to do this for us, friend. Going for a walk. It's actually not a bad idea. But. Okay, if you wouldn't mind, building still. Oh, he's actually... I didn't even command him to do it. He's doing it automatically. Very important. Paul Dose and Alan here are having a little chat at the table. I'm sure no one cares about Alan right now, though. Nice, we got a little table. All those chopped out a little more a little more area here to give us some more room to play around in. Oh, ends, and there's our other fireplace. We can now eat under the cover of night, which is nice. Little ambrosia sprout just sprouted up there, but that doesn't matter too much now. I can cover uh, some stuff around these these things and grow inside of them. I did learn that. We've got a few more days at least. I really want to get this one going. Wow, look at all the wood we must have chopped. I, I ordered so many chops. There's actually so many more to do as well. I may have gone overboard on the chops. Let, let's, be, let's be calm here. Let's cancel all those chops. We'll do some, but not that many. Too many things to do. On the plus note, though, moods are actually looking pretty good. Me and Alan are having a fantastic time. Is that because of cath catharsis, though? Yep. That lasts for 1.3 more days. That's good. Paulos is working on the, just chopping this out, which is not the best idea. Let's go mine that ore instead. I think there's actually a mod that prioritizes mining valuable metals higher than mining, like, basic stone. I didn't get it, though, because I didn't think I would need it. Now, here I am definitely needing it. There we go. All those hacking that thing down. And that that's This iron is getting yoinked so fast, it's insane. Who's supposed to be our uh, chopper? That's actually supposed to be Alan when he's not doing a million other things, which is never... Boy, you know what we really nice is one more person. I guess it could also be Tremaine. If we bump that up a little bit. Like, he doesn't actually have to be doing all this crafting. Poldos is keeping us filled up here on the heel root or whatever this stuff is. Earth bread. I like how now he's coming back to this area, which is good after he took a little break to do some stuff there. Oh, look at this. I'm taint. Wow. One out of three in obedience on Aloysius. Did it actually get that low? That's crazy. Copy this. Paste the settings. Beautiful. This is now unroofed, but we get the door in, which means at long last... It's an actual room! It's indoors! Huzzah! Beautiful. Now Paul Dose decided to come down here for whatever reason. Well, at least he's gonna mine all this, which is iron by mistake, because I didn't actually mean to do that. Myself and Alan out here chopping trees all the live long day. We actually did a ton of chopping there. Way more than we probably needed to. We got a ton of heal root down here, but 
What do I really need? Well, number one, we needed defenses. We were building steel. Looks like no one made any of these traps. So the next raid, we're probably pretty screwed. Number two, we didn't quite finish, but we got close. We built all of our shields. We actually built the fourth one there. Uh, I have one. Paul Dos has one. Tremaine has one. That's Alan's shield right there. Oh, Dwarven Smithy from the Dwarven Hill Clans. All we need is one armor, and we actually built everything we need at the baseline. Then we need tons of steel uh, to make all these traps. Not sure how many I made. Okay, looks like we got 13. So it's going to be 260 steel. We've got 200 now. Yeah, we're going to, to do a lot more than that. We also got most of our other stuff done. Yeah, all of this stuff is in. That's fueled. This is in. It's fueled. All of this stuff is constructed. That's great. We got our mead actually being cooked in here. So it's pretty close to getting time to do stone cutting. Pretty close. Once Tremaine is done smithing and tailoring, I believe he's going to do a lot of hauling, and then eventually he's going to get to crafting. He's going to get actually literally everything done. There's a lot of hauling to do. You know what? We may have to bump up crafting above most things. Maybe even above smithing briefly. I love these dwarven smithies, though. The who I want to trade with is dwarves for sure. <coughs> Look how many things they have. It's insane. All right, Alan, you're our best talker. Go talk with Dooley. Dooley. Of the Dwarven tribes or whatnot. Look at all these guys' beards. It's insane. They're everywhere. They got like hundreds of them. Iron Dwarf Spear. Steel Dwarf Double Bearded Axe. Woo. That looks crazy. Iron Dwarf Battle Axe. That's what we're using. Iron Dwarf Spear. Iron Dwarf Spear Iron Dwarf, Double Bearded Axe, it's just normal, all the same deal. These guys will buy all of our garbage tunics. Apparently, we've been keeping up on replacing ours, which is nice. We've even got a couple of extras here that aren't too bad. Ooh, Pigskin, Longbeard, Dwarf, Chain Coat, unfortunately, can't afford... <gasps> Iron Mountain Dwarf Armor, why the hell is it so big? I don't think the scale's right on that. Yeah, look at all these, these are tiny. Iron Dwarf... Helmet is tiny, and Iron Longbeard Dwarf Helmet's ginormous. Mithril Mountain Dwarf Armor. Uh, what does that do? We can actually almost afford it. Thing is, I literally can't sell anything to these guys, and they won't buy anything from us. Mithril Hill Dwarf Helmet Normal, 11,800. What? That's in 117 protection from Sharp? How does it even work? Material Mithril, 151%. Wow. All right, well, maybe someday we can do all that. For now, we'll sell them a bunch of rotten tunics. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for bringing your whole caravan all the way over here. I bet it's really easy to feed all of you guys. Super easy. Hope you enjoy your rotten tunics. Like, very, very well worn. Uh, Zero meals right now. How are we doing over here on this stuff? 100% grown. I'm the only person who will harvest it, though, and I th think I'll do it today. Anything else I can hunt manually? Boom. Ooh, grizzly bear! Oh, but it's male. Hey, it's still something, though. We could give it a whirl, but we don't even have food to feed ourselves right now. We could go on the third and final alpaca hunt. Or... I could just be careful here and be like, yo, let's hunt that bird. And let's hunt these Ibex, and that's it. Just hunt three things. I bet I can do that without actually going over the top, getting myself killed. I'm going to find out, though. Let's go watch me for a little bit. Nice. Alan's cleaning up in here, which is good to see. Where did I go? Am I going to go? I'm consuming a simple meal. We've only got one. There it goes. Hunting the Ibex still. Let's see how this works out. Boy, it took forever. I got a bunch of bruises and didn't even kill it. And then I went to bed. What? 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 How do I bruise with a Dwarven Battle Axe? How is that even? Oh god, this is getting bad. 
Oh no. No progress is being made. We've got zero food. I'm gonna... I can't go to bed right now. I'm not even remotely tired. Why would I go to bed after that? Just see, I gotta go harvest over here? Like, this has to happen. I have to harvest this. Indoors 71, outdoors 79. The whole area needs to be mega harvested and then mega hauled. Alan, you need to come over here. You need to prioritize hauling the earth bread. Okay, no, I need to stay in there and make sure that it gets... What did it say? Sow this zone. There we go. Job two. Tremaine's just eating the raw food. Oh, why am I sowing the zone? No, I want to prioritize harvesting the area. There we go. Holdos is just eating the raw milk. Yeah, I'm just way behind. There's too many things to do. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm too. I'm too ambitious with only four dwarves here. There's really just not enough of them. I want to go on a mental break soon if I don't allow myself to get out of this. But at least Alan's coming in here to help me plant a little bit. Okay, that's probably good enough. Now it's happy, joy, fun time. We got nine meals. Gift from the Dwarven Hill Clans. They gave me a lizard skin arming cap and a full plated gauntlets because we're such losers. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Thanks for the gauntlets, friends. I think I could use those in my hunting jobs. Uh, let's have me go force wear those really quick. I'm not so sure about... Oh, I was actually already wearing gloves. You know what? Hold those. You can have those. Enjoy. And then I'm I want to clear forced. I hope that we don't actually drop them, which I don't think we will. Well, this is looking cool, sort of. I mean, it's got a long way to go, a lot of stuff to do. We do have 320 steel, which is nice, but we've got zero bricks. We're going to need fires. I don't really want to make them out of wood. Oh, it's a cold snap. All right. That's extremely bad. Well, we did harvest all of this. Verbal abuse me. Oh, no. What do you mean recreation deprived? There's so many sources of recreation. Why have I done this to myself? Why? This is just the episode of verbal abuse on everybody. I just go verbally abuse the animals, friends. Cold snap. Why is there always a cold snap in early September? It seems like the events are the same as the last campaign. We had a heat wave that made the bear run away and then a cold snap on like September 4th. Does that mean I'm going to get... No, because the raids are different. Oh, who... I'm going to go abuse Kona? What? I go in there and like, Kona, what are you doing, you stupid female? Get in the kitchen. We need you to cook for us because Paldos is the worst cook. And Paldos needs to be doing mining or something. What would he even be doing, actually? Well, actually, nine on a mining is what he would do, be doing if he wasn't cooking. Which would be extremely useful for us. He is kind of doing mining now, but he interrupts it to make food, like, constantly. Let's see how bad this goes here with me. In my social tab. So let's see if I'm going to make enemies with literally everybody, just like Alan did. Negative 68. Insulted times 6, negative 75. Slighted times 10, negative 35. Wow. That's some craziness, right? 110. Oh, there we go. I just hit... Oh, no! I hit Baldos, my only friend in the colony. Why would I do it? I quickly discussed... Dire Baldos quickly discussed direction with me. After I l spoke negatively at Paul Dose's accent, Paul Dose is like, listen here, friend. You need to find some direction in life. This is not the way you want to be going. And I agree. Unfortunately, my character just doesn't care. I compared Paul Dose to a chinchilla. He actually does kind of look like a chinchilla. If you look at him. I feel like the same kind of like facial structure right there. This is not going to go well. Paul Dose is just going to get insulted to the hot. Yep, there we go. There, we were the best of friends. Soon, we're going to be the best of enemies. I compared Paul Dose to a beaver. He's just chopping down stone like a beaver chops wood. And here comes another one. Boom! I subtly shamed Paul Dose's recreational preferences. Before I even got done saying that, I was making contemptuous remarks about Paul Dose's courageousness and very loudly insulted Paul Dose's punctuality. By the way, we've got a, actually a dining room. Boom! Did it again. Another thumbs down for the Paul Dose because I made a contemptuous remark about his lovers. There's another one. Disrespected his social skills. This mental break's a little stupid. <laughs> just, 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 just a little bit stupid. 
I hope it goes away, but I don't. I have no idea how long. This is just like everybody in the colony becomes perma enemies from a single mental break. It's just going on and on. I'm laughing at Paldos's kindness. I'm laughing at his parents. I sniggered at Paldos's brother's kindness. I'm like, you're all families too kind, Paldos. Flagrantly insulted Paldos's fashion knowledge. And in we go. Now I've slandered Paldos's origins and belittled his muscles. Boy! I'm getting... This is... I might have to start arresting people. Paldos had a short talk with me about hairstyles. <laughs> he just seems to be... He just doesn't care. At least not everyone is doing like, oh god, here I come again. I am just hyper focused on Baldos. Yep, he's negative 23 on me. He was plus 56 at one point, I think. Uh, let's see what the difference is so far. The difference so far is negative 76 from this insulting spree. Insane. I just want to be friends with everybody. Now I subtly scorn Baldos's aunt's recreational pre. <laughs> What? Who subtly scorns someone's aunt's recreational preferences? That's like the lamest thing you can do. Now I'm belittling his clothes. Oh, it's just never ending. It's I, I can't watch this anymore. It's just going to go all the way to zero. It's going to keep going on for five days and go all the way to zero. Indoors 33. By the way, I was the only uh, person who could do all this over here. This cold snap. This is all 100% grown. You know what? Uh, we have one other person who can maybe do it. And that's going to be Alan. Alan, you're, you weren't even set to it before. But now you're going to have to put literally harvesting on a two. Because I just won't. Attempting to recruit Kona. Don't bother with that. Harvesting the earth bread root. Fell. Fell. Poldos is retiring to his room to scheme. From the hideous environment. Oh, is it the hideous environment? Is it the hideous environment that's got you down, Baldos? Partly because it's filled with stone chunks. We haven't had time to haul it because Alan has to go do the harvesting because I'm busy going on a mental break because Alan went on a mental break against me at the beginning of the episode. And now, insulted seems like the bigger deal here and I just won't let up. Baldos has had it, friends. He's had it. He's got a plan. He's going to put his plan into motion, and we're going to see what the result of that plan is going to be with a Dwarven Showdown. I guarantee you I know what's happening. I just don't know when it's going to happen. He will never see it coming. Uh, actually, Baldos, I will see it coming because I'm literally in control of the entire world. Every potion you drink, I mixed. Every magic item you find, I put it there. Some people will get that reference. You have to ask yourself, Paul Dos, where your priorities lie. Hey, the episode's over. When's we returning? Paul Dos enacts a fell plot, and I think I might let it be carried out, at least until the result of, of seeing what happens. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna intercede until it actually happens, because we're definitely gonna see it coming. Those of you who watch the Viking series, you know what's coming. You absolutely know. It's just a matter of who. When, what, where, and how. I guarantee you I'm going to fall out from being starving is probably the bigger issue. Good God. Everything was fantastic until these mental breaks went hyper over the top ridiculous. And even then, that only... You know what? This is actually all Paul Dose's fault because he didn't make enough food. And then that's what set Alan off in the first place. That's what set... Look at how cool this is coming along. Like, we're really close. We almost have a bedroom made... Or maybe possibly two. Like, and then we also almost have some steel. We ha we have actually 360 steel. That's enough to make traps if we had the time to do it. Unfortunately, the cold snap's gonna be not very good for us here. Uh, we really don't need to harvest that. We need to, you know what, Alan? I'm just gonna give you a priority to go harvest that area. Beautiful. And then I know these are gonna die, but we don't even really need to plant those anymore because I'm pretty sure we've got 112. That's probably enough. I'll do one more. And then after that, let's actually grab this specific grow zone and stop sowing that one. Uh, and we're probably going to have to replant all these dandelions because the pigs have almost ate all of them at this point, And the corpses aren't being enough. Well, uh, we made some progress, I guess. We have all... Everyone has a shield, sort of. Although I never gave Alan his shield. Uh, he's just got too many things. I could shift right click and equip this Dwarven shield as job number two. Hey, look at that, I finally did it. 
It only took like four series of 9,000 people reminding me that you can shift right click. But it finally stuck in my brain. Once we harvest that, we'll go grab that. You know what? Better yet, let's equip the Dwarven Shield. Then we'll come over here and harvest this. That's a hell of a lot more efficient. But yeah, when's are returning? Something is sinister is afoot. Oh boy. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Give me the war bear, I'll show you what's going on. You know what, I don't even care. I'm actually gonna win this regardless, cause yoink! Yeah, that's right, you were looking the wrong way. And who got all the stabbies that time, huh? Boom, boom. Come on, me. I don't know who that was. We'll find out in a second here. Okay, one more down there. God, this is actually really fun for whatever reason. 